Greetings, YouTube. Danny Staten here on the Daily Dan blog. I'm at Sunny Hill, right up above Crescent Hill in South Carolina. It's located in beautiful West Tulsa. The people in this parking lot to my right, you can see it through the trees. Early this morning, about three hours ago, said they saw some strange black figures moving through these woods. I'm starting to think them strange black figures may have been people. There's the signs of people are everywhere to be seen out here. Well, anyway, I'm going to investigate large, dark shapes in the woods. And there seems to be lots of weird things going on out here. I don't know what the hell that's supposed to be. But the one thing's obvious is this is a commonly used area back there, baby. It does seem to be quite well used. Something has been through here a lot. And I'm thinking it might be, oh, well, look at this. Something has stepped here. Let me put my foot down. See how my foot goes up in the hole beside it? And whatever did this had to be incredibly freaking huge. You can almost see, like, claw or scruff marks down in there. That is so strange. <laughs> That's a classic giant footprint right there. That makes me wonder just a little bit more. What are you? We'll throw a little foot back through here. So I come out of that clearing right there, and I'm checking out this big clearing area right here. He logs in behind an old church. You can see off in the distance. And after this big clearing, you can tell the press down something stepped right here too. Putting my foot beside it for a scale. See right there? In the shape of a large footprint. I am intrigued, you two. I am intrigued. As I trail down whatever large dark shape these people saw in the woods early this morning. I wish I'd got to talk to the people, but I did not get to see them. They talked to a friend of mine and my friend called me and said, got where to go, large shapes seen in the woods. And I immediately, as soon as I heard, headed out to have a look around, YouTube. To have a look around by these old abandoned buildings. I actually was kind of excited when I got the call because it's in the Crescent Hill area where I've had multitudes of reports over the years. Even though Crescent Hill is about maybe two miles to my right from where I am right now. But I have to admit, this is one of my favorite places to investigate. Well, this area, even though I'm pretty sure the particular area I'm standing in right now, I have never been this far down. And I'm looking at some weird tree bends all over the area and tree breaks, but I'm not sure that's not storm damage. Son of a bitch, you two. Lady Dan just found a phone. A phone. I found a phone in the woods. I wonder if it'll come on. Hmm. Most people don't lose their phone in the woods. 
Brother Dan will confiscate this phone and try to find out what's on it at a later time. After being out here in these woods for who knows how long, rain down or whatever, it probably don't work no way. But it sure will be fun and interesting to find out if we can get it going. And if Dunny Dan gets it going, who knows? It might turn out to be something significant. As they are lots of missing people cases in this area. So I've been in these woods a little while now and I haven't heard nothing. Or seen nothing too strange. But the find of a phone. Well, what is that? Has intrigued it daily down. And I found somebody's massive bag of underwear. This case just keeps getting more interesting. Has Bigfoot lost his telephone? Does Bigfoot have a telephone? Does Bigfoot wear underwear? Was it Bigfoot or large black people they saw? Hmm. I, I shouldn't make jokes. I should take this a little more serious. But either way... Very interesting, I have made the find of the day. It's so rare that you find a telephone at all that somebody lost. Much less one in the middle of the deep, dark, dank damn woods. In case you're wondering what the pause was for, Daily Dan heard the sound of wrestling in the bushes. Could have been a deer, could have been anything. I didn't see nothing. But I did hear something dispersing through the leaves. And down here are some signs that I would attribute to large buck deer. Do it again. I just heard a strange sound. Probably a bird, but that was one weird ass bird sound. Wow. Danny Staten is having a day. I did hear some weird birds. I hope it picks up on camera. They was these like crow sounds, but there was this ooh off in the distance behind it. You barely could hear it. I don't, I don't know if it picked up on the camera or not. As always, be sure to let me know in the comments below if they show up. If you see anything that any damn this is out here in these damn woods. Be sure to let me know what you think about the phone that I found. And be sure to let me know what you thought about them prints that look like large, large creature prints to me. I'm not sure, but I'm sure people will let me know in the comments. Until next time, this is Danny Staten saying, be sure to like, subscribe, ring the bell for me. And until next time, blog over, dude.